tick tock 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 tick ba boom why did i say ba boom here is java gym with first line equipment the reason i said that is because i have seen espresso machines that people think are defective because of faulty components or faulty PID sensors, overheating and blowing open the safety valve on the steam boiler. And customers don't believe me, but what happens is these PID sensors that are found on the majority of machines, typically what will happen is they will corrode and I don't mean corrosion in the sense of eating away at the metal, but corrosion in the sense that there's a film that's built up or uh, some lime scale caused by magnesium and calcium, or in some cases, oxidation, which is created by more of the purified waters. When a film builds up here, it can't read the temperature correctly because that's what the PID sensor does. It, it sends, I don't know, one one hundredth of a second. It's monitoring the temperature of the steam boiler. And this typically won't happen in the coffee boiler because there's no safety valve. But if the coffee boiler is running hot, um, you'll, you may see that on the PID display. But it typically happens on the steam boiler because it operates at a much higher temperature and it's faster for building up the film or the corrosion. And in every single case, that I've come across here in the past three years would clean the sensor and basically what would end up happening was the machine was working fine. So it's really important and I stress to all the customers I speak to that it's re really important to use softened water with not a purified TDS um, but it really depends between 80 and 120, 90 and 130 typically no lower than 70 or higher than 150 because you will get some type of corrosion and you still may get corrosion within those TDS parameters. So if your machine overheats and your dealer allows you to take off the top cover and inspect the sensor, the PID sensor, and this has happened on the brass ones, the stainless steel ones, uh, it, uh, I'm even talking to a manufacturer, maybe we need to uh, put some coating on these uh, so they don't have the buildup, but we're years down the road with this. But unplug the machine, take all the steam out. You will find, in this case, a double redded, double redded, double redded, double redded. A double red wire. Typically, there will be a two pin black connector. Sometimes this will go straight all the way to the brain unit, sometimes to uh, a feeder wire. Um, when you remove this sensor, you do not want to twist the wires while you're turning because when this part fails, the machine doesn't heat at all. And that usually fails for not heating is because the wires were twisted like I'm doing right now. That, that literally can damage uh, the wire and then there's no signal and basically, no heat. But an overheat doesn't mean this part's defective, it means it was corroded. So if you disconnect it, let take the nut out, okay, unwind it out, let the wire spin freely, or dual red wire, and uh, look at it. You may not see anything, but there could potentially be a film, as I've seen in one case. Wire brush it, little plumber's tape, one and a half turns around the thread, put it back, double red wire, dual red wire, spinning free, freely, get it back in, hand tight, eight to a quarter turn with the wrench, crescent wrench, and I believe it's either, I don't know, 15, 17 millimeters on this, but they could be different based on the machine. Test the machine, uh, let it warm up, make sure there are no leaks, and most likely you will be good to go because you cleaned the corrosion. But then you need to address the water problem because that's what created this in the first place. So this is where you contact your deal if you didn't purchase from us or contact us. We are not water experts here at First Line. We're espresso machine experts. So you may need to work with a water expert 
Uh, we do have some solutions, but they don't fit everyone's type of water. So you, the key is to soften it and get the magnesium and calcium out, letting some other minerals pass through. So the tech tip is if you have overheating and you have a PID sensor, most likely you have corrosion. If you have any questions or comments below, or in some cases, some people like to disagree with me because they don't have as much experience as I do handling these, please comment down below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, would love to see that, and have a wonderful day. Enjoy your espresso without an overheated machine. Thank you.